Happy New Year everybody and welcome to Smoke News. This week's news is more focused on stories we missed so far and a chance to celebrate some great achievements in the University of Westminster's world. The holidays were a little sadder than usual due to the deaths of two legendary Britons, David Bowie and Alan Rickman, both passed away at the age of 69 after losing battles to cancer. In the following days, London was filled with spontaneous homages from their fans in iconic places such as Bowie's mural in Brixton next to Ritzy Cinema and the fictional nine and three quarter platform at King's Cross Station. Switching to lighter stories, on New Year's Day, Italian physicist Fabiola Gianotti started her five-year mandate as General Director of CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. Gianotti made history by being the first woman ever to be appointed as CERN General Director, a huge achievement for women in science. Coming down to Westminster's world, good news for all movie fans. Some of the most acclaimed movies of this year's Academy Awards, such as The Danish Girl, runner for Best Picture, with Britain Eddie Redmayne going for a back-to-back -back as Best Actor. The Revenant, with Leonardo DiCaprio's performance labelled by critics as an Oscar in the making. Room and Carol, with acclaimed performances by Brie Larson, Kate Blanchett and Rooney Mara, are in our own cinema's February schedule. For info and ticket bookings, go to www.regentstreetcinema.com. Westminster's link to cinema doesn't end in Regent Street. Three movies made by University of Westminster staff members and two alumni have been nominated for this year's Oscars. Graduate Asif Kapaidi's Amy, about the late singer Amy Winehouse, and The Look of Silence by Dr. Joshua Oppenheimer, reader at the university, have both been nominated for Best Documentary Feature. In addition, the short film Stutterer, produced by film graduate Shan Christopher Ogilvy, has been nominated in the live action short film category. The 88th Academy Awards ceremony will take place in Los Angeles on Sunday the 28th of February 2016. But, as cinema fans know, it's not all about the Oscars. University of Westminster alumni Rohi Pradhan has been presented with a Filmfare Award for sound design at a star-studded ceremony in Thane, India. Filmfare Awards are the most prestigious screen awards in India, often referred to as the Hindi Oscars and are presented annually to honour both artistic and technical excellence in Indian cinema. Rohit was awarded the famed Lady in Black trophy for his acclaimed sound design on the 2014 film Rage. So, congrats to him. Last week, Westminster students returned to university and were welcomed by refreshers. Between Marleybone and Harrow campuses, students had the chance to join societies or sports teams, collect lots of freebies, and also meet the candidates for the upcoming Students' Union elections. We ask students for their opinions about refreshers. Passing it on. We're, we're here at the Refreshers Fair with... Michael Lavin and Mark Hoskin. Can we join the Refreshers Fair? I'm having a great time. Yeah. I've been here for two hours. All I've seen is him dance and dominoes. That's about it. I've... Everyone's here for dominoes, like... Dominoes and Lavin. Dominoes and Lavin. Dominoes and, and me. Enjoying the Domino store particularly? Clearly. A little bit. A little bit. <laughs> you gave me a chance, I So uh, are you enjoying the refreshers fair? Yeah, it's quite cool. Yeah. Um, you um have you signed up to anything in particular? Um the first eight course. <laughs> Fair. Hi, I'm Maria. Hi, I'm Anna. And I'm Albert. <laughs> and um, they're here at the Refreshers Fair. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, we, we love it. We've got like 50 people involved. We're, we're part of the Dance Society. And you can join us if you go on Facebook on the Facebook page. Free promotion! Oh my god, it's got a screen and everything! During the UWSU elections period, Smoke TV hosted a much participated debate in Regents Campus last Friday with the participation of the candidates running for Students' Union President and for Vice President of each of the four campuses, Cavendish, Harrow, Marleybone and Regents and Little Titchfield. Here's a best of from our debate. Yeah, 
Texas, as we all know, is a pretty small campus, no? It's a pretty small campus, but I've spoken to a lot of students and they're not happy with the way the cafeteria is currently and they feel that it can be expanded or it can be refurbished. Tas, hi. Hi. Please tell us, how was it to be the first speaker of this evening? Oh, it was a bit nerve-wracking to start off with, but I'll be honest with you, as soon as I was there, like, first couple of questions, I was more settled in. My question is, how do you, uh, where, where do you see the money coming from to open up a new uh, office in Little Titchfield Street? It's all about getting presence in LTS. If we don't get an um, office, I want to do what's similar to um, Otis and Harrow, whereby he got the car. It wasn't expensive, but it was just all about getting presence. Salsa, hi. So how do you feel? How do you feel about your performance tonight? I feel that I've improved in so many ways. Um, it could have went worse, actually. <laughs> could have been worse. I think um, I tried to keep people engaged by making them laugh with my petty jokes. <laughs> um, but I felt nervous uh, and I felt lonely up on stage. Question from uh, Ryan uh, Brown on Twitter. Will you follow suit in the example of at VP Regent to provide students with recreational items on campus? So what I want to do is build a social hub there at the back. Um, I recently just came back from leave and I found out that the head of the canteen, Alma, in Marlborough, wants to extend the seating area for the canteen over there. So we're going to come up with a negotiation and compromise of how to use the space with an extended seating area for the canteen and a ping pong table and a super table so we can do the inter-campus competitions that you've all been waiting for. For VP of Cavendish. Miriam, hi. Hi. We just seen you on the stage. It was great. Tell us how do you feel. I feel really good because I have a stand up for you guys and I have made my points across hopefully. It's online voting of motions because I believe that we are expressing our views but we should express them more. You do hi. I just seen you on the stage. That was great. How do you feel? Um, so many emotions, excitement, bit of bit scared, nervous, but I think it was great. A student union app to get the student union in the palm of your hand and also making student life easier, getting better links with one on one. The VP of Harrow and what you're going to bring, sir. Hey, I'm Dan Seamarts. I'm going to be your next VP Harrow because Harrow is an amazing campus. For too long, it's for. <laughs> Thank you, <Chris. laughs> I'm passionate about Harrow. Um, I'm passionate about creating the best opportunities for students across the board, not just at Harrow, but here as well. You, you, guys, you guys kind of kept this, this venue a little bit secret and I think it's an absolutely incredible space. Um, I think it needs to be utilised more. And I want to bring the students down to you guys and you guys up to our students at Harrow. We're called the Mad Canvas for a reason, let's put it that way. So I'm Trey Voice again, I haven't changed in the last five minutes. Um, and I'm running VP Harrow because I want to bring healthier foods to the SU shop because vegans, gluten free and halal meat is not, not there and it's not acceptable in these days. And I'll say <laughs> thank you. Poppy, hi. Um, so how do you feel just a few moments after this debate? You know what, I'm, I'm very relieved, I'm very relieved. Um, it was not as scary as I thought and, you know, it, that just, that just uh, yeah, it was fun. I don't want you to underestimate me as a first year student. Uh, I'm a single mother of a 13 year old, there is nothing that I cannot achieve. Skanda, how do you feel after this debate? Was it good? Uh, I feel... Uh... I believe I, I, I did put across my point. Uh, uh, instead of concentrating towards the political agendas and what's happening around us, although it is important and uh, the knowledge and the awareness should be there, but our main agenda is to work on the welfare of the students right now and creating awareness of the services that are available with the university, the free services should be the main agenda instead of the political and, and other awarenesses outside the university. How do you consider your chances after this debate? Um, I, it's, it's down to the students. It's not down to chances. It's down to the students. So I want to do all I can to, to go out there, um, especially. You to felt the support from the audience while you had a debate. Yeah, there was support. Um, I, I did receive a round of applause for one of my points. So that that was you know the best it could have been. So um, yeah, yeah. To achieve their manifesto point, that was the question. Well, if money can be invested into making up the loft in Harrow, why can't money be invested in central London? I, I don't understand that. Really, you know. <laughs> quite an intense debate I would say. It was intense having to comment on every single point quite in depth with um, quite a lot of active audience members was tricky but I think we all coped with it quite well. Thank you points for my manifesto. Um, I'm looking to um, introduce faculty and course specific careers fairs rather than the generic ones we have at the moment. 
I'm looking to arrange visiting lecture office hours because I know it's quite difficult to get in touch with your visiting lecturers once they've left and done their seminar slash lecture. Was it hard sometimes to get you to send your message across? Um, it wasn't that hard to get my message across. It was more hard to not react as a student uh, and more as a candidate. Uh, is that uh, we need change, not promotion. Everything you have proposed is already being done. What are you going to do other than just promote? That I've proposed isn't getting done. We don't have a postgraduate fan. We don't have a, a sea shop at Regents of Marleybone. We don't help enough with hidden costs. Um, and we don't have a student night every week that isn't just about going out to um, a club or something like that. Okay. Um, Nayed, would you like to make any comments how you're going to improve life for postgraduates? Um, for postgraduate students, I think we should make a society for them, a postgraduate society. So anyone like, um, whenever they can refresh us or anything like that, uh, let them know about this society, let them join the society as well. And we should have events for them as well, like, uh, so that they can get engaged with others. So how do you consider your chances now? I'll say, let's give it a try, let's see how it goes. Everyone, everyone is really good, I respect everyone, their manifesto is really good, yeah. Whoever you want to book, just book, That's it. just look at the manifesto and book. Don't forget to vote. You can do it from 10am on January the 25th to 4pm on January the 28th. To check out all the information and candidates' manifestos, go to www.uwsu.com forward slash elections. Results will be announced in Harrow's The Loft on January the 28th at 6pm. That's all for this week with Smoke News. See you next time. I'm going in for some coffee because it's freezing.